welcome to all in my youtube channel myself pintu bishash assistant professor department of geography balurghat college today i will discuss about basics of map projections in front of you so first of all i would like to tell about what is projection the term projection means presentation of image on screen so what is map projection the term projection is commonly used to designate the phenomena of image production of an object onto a surface or plane this involves the application of a set of principles procedures and purposes broadly speaking map projection is defined as the systematic drawing of a network of parallels and meridians on a plain sheet of paper portraying a part or whole of the earth surface naturally it is scale dependent and is done in accordance with a set of geometric and mathematical principles to satisfy certain objectives of the users so map projection is a device by which the curved surface of the earth is represented on a flat plane the operational process essentially involves dimensional transformation that is a two dimensional representation of the three dimensional figure of the earth this process produce deformations which are inevitable because the surface of the generating globe and the surface or plane of projection are not geometrically applicable so now i am talking about the terminologies of map projection first of all i would like to talk about graticule so what is graticule it refers to the net or mesh of mutually intersecting parallels and meridians drawn to a certain scale and based on certain principles the term graticulation is used to specify the procedures by which the network of graticles are drawn then i am talking about generating globe so what is generating globe it refers to the globe from which projections are generated or developed normally it is a small skeleton globe made of glass of oil the parallels and meridians are shown by black lines or wires placed at their true angular distances apart naturally the generating globe is a geometrically accurate earth reduced in size now i am talking about projection plane so it is a two dimensional geometric plane upon which the parallels and meridians are usually projected in case of a perspective planar projection the projection plane touches the generating globe at a single point so this is the projection plane and generating globe now i am talking about developable surface so what is developable surface in case of planar projection only a single point is truly represented with the exact 
one to one correspondence obviously from this point of tangency the distortion on a map increases in all directions to minimize it the point of contact with the generating globe is maximized by using projection surfaces that can easily be developed into two dimensional geometric planes such projection surfaces are known as developable surface uh, like an example cone or cylinder so this is the uh, figures of a developable surface like cylinder a cylindrical conical and azimuthal now i am uh, talking about the central meridian for a given longitudinal extension it refers to that meridians which lies exactly at the median or middle most position of the extension it has only constructional importance and is normally drawn as a straight line the mesh of graticules on one side of the central meridian is in fact the mirror image of the other side so you can see the central meridian here in the given image now i am talking about standard parallel the parallel along which a projection plane or a developable surface touches or intersects the generating globe are called standard parallels along the standard parallels the tangential scale is essentially 1 is to 1 hence these are always the lines of zero distortion so you can see the standard parallel in the given image so now i am talking about the skills in map projection first of all i would like to talk about principal skill the skill in which the generating globe a three dimensional figure is conceptualized is called the principal skill it's sometimes called the nominal skill you can see in the figure the principal skill also given now i am talking about the actual scale or real scale it is the real scale on the projection which of course varies from point to point so what is scale factor the ratio between the principal scale and the real scale at any point on the map is called the scale factor next time talking about the another terminology tangential scale factor the scale factor measured along a parallel is called the parallel scale factor or tangential scale factor again what is radial scale factor the scale factor measured along a meridian is called the meridional scale factor or radial scale factor now i am switch over to the another terminology of map projection one is geodesic line so what is geodesic line geodesic line is similar to the grid circle arc the shortest possible connections between two points on the ellipsoidal surface is defined as the geodetic line or for convenience the geodesic progressing along this curved line from point to point the tangent continuously changes its azimuth according to clariot's theorem the product of the radius r of the parallel circle phi and the sine of the azimuth alpha of the geodesic is a constant now i am talking about loxodom so it is also known as ramb line a ramb line or loxodom is an arc crossing all 
meridians of longitude at the same angle that is a path with constant bearing as measured relative to or magnetic north you can see the ram line or luxor dome and geodesic line in the given figure so thank you